This is where I was made. These bland ivory corridors have been my home for the past six years. Oh yeah, my name is Zach, and I'm a doctor. You may be wondering about these stars on my ID. These actually signify at different levels. Basically, the more stars you have, the higher your level is. And I guess, the better doctor you are. It all starts with the basics. Level 1. They give you stacks of books to read. Make you listen to a thousand lectures for hours and hours. At the end of it all, you take a test, which you either pass or fail. This test, this single piece of paper, separates you and your first star. Almost a quarter of the first recruits don't even get to their first star. I was one of the lucky ones. The lady talking over there is probably in level 2. One thing you have to know about this place, you see, is that learning never stops. For example, I learned that Google is not a synonym for research. I learned it the hard way. We can't forget about the overworked level 3 years. I remember when I had to get that third star. Aside from the books and tests that deprived me of my oh-so-sweet nights of slumber, I was made to spend my free time on extracurricular activities. It's all about the balance, that's what they said. These people, however, seem to be spending more time on the extracurricular than the curricular activities. You may have noticed that I have four stars. You can only get this star after the Physician Licensure Exam. Or as I'd like to call it, the Let's Take Everything That They Learned In The Past Four Years And Ask Them About It Exam. See that poster there? Unlike the rest of us, that guy didn't just get his fourth star, he got it with flair. Out of thousands, he got into the top ten. No need to sulk though, I am now a bona fide doctor. Four stars and at the top of the pack. Or maybe not. Not quite yet. There's always room for improvement. Anyway. Doctor, your patient is waiting for you. Of course, doctor. Thank you. Hello, Claire. How are you? Okay, I guess. Well, your vital sign seems okay. If there's anything that I can do, I... Just stay. I'm sorry, I, I know you have tons more things to do. No, no, it's okay. Is there something wrong? This is... different. Doctor, don't you have to get home? It's getting pretty late. You must be really tired. It is getting late. Tired? It's been a long and tired. tired. Sleep is for the week. That's a lie. Sleep sounds so good right now. And besides, my next shift starts in four hours. So, I might as well stay here. Another lie. There's no shift starting in four hours. It's my day off. Could have gone home all those hours ago. Dissolved into my thick mattress, could have slept through my alarm, indulged in the pancakes that I just love to drown in maple syrup. The funny thing is, I still don't want to go. I don't want to leave her alone. So 
that's how you do it. I feel different. Doctor, you look different. Bro, maybe I just had a really This is where I was made. These familiar ivory corridors have been my home for the past six years. No matter where I go or who I become, I carry them with me. Oh yeah, my name is Zach, Dr. Zach, a five-star physician from UERM.